What's up, you guys? This is Divine Messenger 33. Where I get messages from the divine, I give them straight to you guys. So clearing out any energy that will not benefit this message. Holy Spirit, Archangel Michael, my ancestors, my spirit guides of my highest good, please come in and protect me as I channel this current energy for the collective. Ancestors of my highest good, please give me clear and accurate messages. Welcome all my supporters. I appreciate you guys for liking and commenting and subscribing to the channel. I appreciate all of the love, the support, the donations, the bookings, the emails. I appreciate you guys for all of the love and the support you show to me and the channel. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you. Yeah. I appreciate y'all. Definitely do. For real, for real. All right, so let's see what's going on with the collective. What's the word, spirit? So heal, options. So for because you guys healed, there could be uh, some options coming in. Yeah, so we do have a moon in Sagittarius. Okay, so I am seeing that it's a lot of options coming in for you because you healed. All right. So it's a lot of options coming in because you could have healed something. Well, that's some good shit. Okay, so hold on. Let's see. Where is my... Let's see. I think I'll get... For some of y'all, you could have a family member that tried to slow you down. Something to do with a water sign or an earth sign. This person could have tried to slow you down. Okay? But I feel like you healed, though. You could have really healed from a situation. And you could be about to find out, though. Yeah. I do feel like you will be having a... Um, you will be moving forward. Yep. Queen of Wands, I feel like that you guys could really be in that energy where it's like you attracting a lot of good shit. Okay? Yeah. Four of Pentacles. Yeah. I feel like it's... For some of you guys, you could be saving to, to move or something like that. Or you could be led to, to start saving or save something. Yeah. For some of you guys, you could be keeping it to yourself that this is what you're doing. Okay. All right. What else? All right. Yeah. Devil card. I feel like that it could be whoever. There's somebody in your energy that you could be moving on from. I feel like that this person could be very toxic or you could be led to move on from. For some of y'all, I am seeing something about an abusive relationship. So somebody could be secretly trying to get away from from an abusive relationship. Yeah, something to do with strong Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra. Yeah, somebody could be trying to secretly, yeah, hermit. Yeah, this could have something to do. Somebody could be older than somebody. Yeah, magician, tower. Yeah, somebody could have like big anger issues and somebody could be very manipulative so somebody could be moving away from somebody like that or someone is led to somebody could be very manipulative ma manipulative and how they move with somebody yeah eight of wands i'm seeing that somebody is about to have a lot of communication come in though to help them move forward in their situation because somebody could be like in an energy where they could be like they want to move forward, but this could be somebody that don't know which way to turn. Okay? Like, okay, I want to go this way. Is this a good way to go? Is that a good way to go? Like, somebody is in that kind of energy. Okay? Let's see. Clarify Six of Swords. Clarify 
five, five, six of swords. Six of swords. All right, so we got the emperor. Yep, and the hermit. Yeah, I feel like that this emperor could be about to ghost a situation and move forward. This could have something to do with a business deal. Okay, this could be an Aries, Aquarius, or a, a Virgo. I see somebody just moving on from a situation. Somebody has the courage now to do it. Okay. I feel like if this is somebody that's moving forward from a situation, I do see that you may not see now, but it's about to be a lot of options open for you. You may not see that shit now, but this, as you go along your journey, you're going to start seeing like different things open up for you. Okay. That's the whole reason why they call it the path of the unknown. Yeah. Because somebody could have been betrayed for real. Yep, Ten of Swords. Somebody could have been, been betrayed multiple times by a collaboration or by something that they could have built. Like somebody could feel like that they getting played. This could be a business owner. Okay. I'm seeing somebody, uh, somebody needs to be careful doing something across the water. Because I'm seeing somebody may have a painful ending. Somebody could be doing something across the water or something like that. Be very careful because I'm seeing somebody getting investigated. Or somebody tracking somebody moves. And somebody tracking somebody moves on what they do across the water. And somebody could be trying to cause a painful ending to somebody. We got Gemini, Aquarius. We got Aries and Virgo. So be careful with that energy. Okay. If you know somebody into that or doing something, you know, with that, you know, you may want to talk to them or if this is you, this could be a warning for you. Okay. All right. Clarify the queen of wands. Three of pentacles. Yep. I'm seeing that somebody could have a... Uh, Somebody could have healed from somebody that was very manipulative. This could have been somebody. I don't know why I'm hearing that somebody could have had sex with their assistant. And this person could have um, or is about to release some information about them. Yeah, Ace of Swords. So somebody could have thought that they had a good assistant. And this assistant really been like working against them this whole time. So somebody may figure this out when they go within. Yep. Clarify four of pentacles. Clarify four of pentacles. Hell yeah, five of swords. Somebody is going to realize that somebody been holding back that they, you know, been wanting to sabotage them. Somebody going to realize that somebody is just their enemy is what I just he heard. Because I do feel like that somebody has been really healing their energy. And I feel like that, yes, this is opening up a lot of options in different areas. But it's also like enlightening what somebody been doing behind somebody back. You know, somebody being in this five of swords energy. So I feel like that this. Like, yeah, it's bringing in good energy, but it's also bringing in clarity to people that's in fucked up energy that's trying to hide shit. Something with a Capricorn or Aquarius. Yeah, I feel like that. This is like, it's, yeah, you know, so it's like take the good with the bad. Take the good with the bad kind of energy is what I'm hearing. It's like take the good with the bad. Like, yeah, we gon' we blessing you. You know, this is what your your guides, your you know, the angels, the cosmos saying. Yeah, we blessing you, but it's like we also is enlightening what somebody in your energy been doing. Five of swords. So it's like we letting we giving you the best of both sides. You know what I'm saying? Clarify the devil. Yeah. Three of Cups. For some of y'all, this could be a, a friend. This could be a friend in your energy. Okay, that's very jealous. That could be really holding back 
how they really feel about you. Yeah, because you could be really getting justice in your situation or you're about to. Yeah, this is from a person in your past for some of y'all. Clarify of the devil. Clarify the devil. Yeah, king of swords. I feel like for some of y'all, this could be somebody that you could have laid to rest. For some of y'all, this could be like, this could be a profession. For some of y'all, you could be realizing that you have a lot of other options to do, to make money, to do something. And I feel like that for some of y'all, you could be sacrificing um, a profession. Because for some of y'all, you could feel like your boss is toxic as fuck. This boss could be a Capricorn, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You feel like that this person toxic as fuck. For some of y'all, you could feel like that this person don't have emotions. Like this person is like cold as fuck, whoever this boss is. So it's like, you just like, okay, I'm sacrificing this, this motherfucker. I'm done, you know, with this motherfucker. I'm done going through this. I'm going to go towards my Ace of Cups, okay? Something more emotionally fulfilled. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Something that will give you, you know, the emotional fulfillment that you want. Okay, is what I'm seeing here. Clarify the hermit. Clarify the hermit. I'm telling you, Queen of Wands. Yup. Six of Cups. Yeah, I am seeing that for some of y'all, there could be a person from your past that's really looking into your life. I feel like that this person see you as the Queen of Wands. Okay, so this person see you as very attractive, like really standing in your shit. You standing on your shit, like for real, on who you are. And I feel like that this person be really in their head about you. Because for some of y'all, this person is really like, this person be watching you too. Yeah, Queen of Swords. I feel like that this person could feel like that you, you're very intellectual. You're very smart. Yeah. I feel like it's very hard to break your heart too. It's very hard to break your heart because I feel like that it's like you always get clarity about shit. For some of y'all, this could be somebody in your energy that's trying to find your weak spot, but it's hard to find your weak spot. Yup. Somebody is trying to, to, to get you bothered, I hear. Somebody is trying to get you bothered. Something about a Virgo, Aquarius, or Sagittarius. Like someone wants you bothered. Like real heavy. And this person could be mad that you're not bothered. Because what I'm hearing is, okay, if, if one thing fall, motherfucker, I got a lot of options that could get me to where I want to go kind of energy. And for some of y'all, you about to realize the options that you have. Yeah. Exactly. Because I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to make a necessary sacrifice that's going to get you your wish fulfillment. Yep. Yep. You're going to make a necessary sacrifice to give you, to get you your wish fulfillment with something that you really want. Yep. So you're going to be led to sacrifice one thing to get something that you really want. And it's going to be worth it, too. Yep. Clarify the tower. Yep, nine of pentacles. And you're going to do it by yourself, too. Yep. I'm telling you. Ten of wands. I feel like that it's going to be a lot on you to get something, get something accomplished. But I am seeing that you get it done. Yep. For some of y'all, you're going to be led right into your person's arms is what I'm hearing. So for some of y'all, it's like if you are single or something like that, you're going to be led right into this person's arms. It's going to be like crazy how it like all come together. Or for, or for others, if you already are with your person, I'm seeing that you get into like a contract with some with 
with somebody that it's just like it's gonna blow your mind that this person even want to work with y'all with you and your person this could be same sex energy too for some of y'all this could be like a married couple that's gonna come that's gonna come to you when it comes to some situation like it's gonna be a couple that come to you that need your help when it comes to their situation and you may be shocked about who this is but i feel like this couple been watching you for a while and they gather information and they're like yeah this is the person for some of y'all this could just be an application that you just filled out this is an application you just filled out and i'm seeing that it get looked over and you get the job we got aquarius libra virgo or sagittarius yeah, I am seeing it's just like a lot of options in your energy right now. And then behind that, we got endings. Sagittarius and endings. Yeah. So this is like great energy for y'all. For this, this collective, this reading. This is great energy. So as far as the air signs, we have uh, Aquarius and Libra. Okay, a lot of Aquarius and Libra. We do have Gemini over here, all right, with the Ten of Swords. But strong Aquarius and Libra. Uh, as far as the Earth signs, we do have strong Virgo. Strong Virgo. We do have Taurus, but strong Virgo. Okay. Uh, we do have Scorpio. We have Cancer. We have Capricorn. Strong Capricorn, too. All right. So that's what I'm seeing, you guys, with these messages. I really hope they helped you. Somebody could play sports, too. All right, so somebody could wear their natural hair. All right, somebody could have a big chest. So yeah, I'm just hearing Divine say like take the good with the bad kind of energy. I mean, that's how I go. You know, you gotta take the good with the bad shit. That's how I be. Like, yeah, we gon' we gon' like give you the good shit, but it's like you gotta take the other shit with it too. You know what I'm saying? I go. We have Chrysler. Somebody could be a stay-at-home mom. Short nails. We have H. Somebody could be brown skin. Lawyer. Sex industry. We have G. Assistant, hoodie lover. Yeah, I was feeling that assistant energy with that download I got with that. Yeah, we have drunk, wine, tone, inner muscular. We have ponytails, left arm tattoos. Somebody could smoke cigars. We have Libra. We have bank employee. We have X. 70s briefs we have J no kids chains dimples something to do with a Taurus could be significant we have Aquarius 5-5 five, five and below factory worker we have model, separated, and French tip. Okay. I heard Gloria. Okay. I heard Janice. I heard Janice. All right. I heard Jenny. Something with Jenny. Okay. 
I heard George. I heard Garcia, Gabrielle, Hernandez, Henry. Okay. Somebody could have a GMC vehicle. Somebody could have a five-year-old. Somebody could be five months pregnant. I heard Jaguar. Okay. Something about an x-ray. Somebody could be led to get an x-ray or somebody could work in that field. Okay. I'm hearing... There could be somebody that always like to tell jokes. I'm hearing like somebody be like a jokester. Somebody could even be a comedian. Okay. Like I'm hearing somebody like tell a lot of jokes. Like somebody could be, somebody could be really good at like roasting people and stuff like that too. Like, you know, telling jokes on people and stuff. Okay. Something could have happened. Something about May could be significant. All right, so something significant could have happened in May uh, when it came to this situation, okay? I feel like, you know, some things, May could have been the last month of somebody trying to cause somebody a painful ending. So now I feel like that somebody could have healed from that and it's just opening up a lot of shit. It's opening up a lot of, like, good things for somebody. Okay? Healing a situation. Okay? I heard Jasmine. Okay? Somebody could love, like, going jogging. Somebody could uh, love walks at night as well. Okay? I heard, make sure you can see. <laughs> so the ones that's taking walks at night, I heard, make sure you can see. Like, make sure, you know, you able to see what's going on around you or something like that. Okay. Yeah. There is somebody that's holding back that they investigating on you too. I'm hearing that it's an energy holding back that they trying to investigate on you. But I am seeing that this person going to go through a backfire trying to be on your ass and shit. Yeah, high priestess, I do feel like your intuition been telling you something about somebody on your ass. This could have something to do with a strong Capricorn. Okay, and we have Aries. We have Scorpio. We got Sagittarius, Aquarius. Yeah, I feel like you know about this person. And this person about to go through a backfire for being up your ass so much. Okay? What is this backfire of this person's spirit? What is this backfire? What is this backfire? What is this backfire spirit? Hold on, let's... What is this backfire spirit? Okay, so this, damn y'all, tower, page of pentacles, ten of cups. So this person gonna get a message about a family member that's, it's gonna shock them or it's gonna make them upset or it's gonna shock them. Yeah, because the wheel is turning. Yep. Possibly when it comes to their work. Eight of Pentacles. So it's possible that this got something to do with their work. But I am seeing that this person, I, I'm seeing that this person going to get a message about a family member. Yep. It's, they're going to get a message about a family member. All right. Yeah. And it's going to make them upset. It's going to make them upset about what they're going to see.
Okay, so something to do with a water sign. Okay, then we got Virgo out here too. So Scorpio, Pisces, okay. Like this person gonna get some kind of message. It's gonna make them mad. For some of y'all, this person could uh, have a family or this person may get a message um, from a person that they have a family with and it's gonna make them upset because somebody gonna realize that the tables is turning and something that they, maybe somebody could have really manipulated somebody in the past, but this person is figuring out that they can't manipulate somebody no more. Somebody is gonna realize that, that they can't manipulate somebody no more because this person is healing. And this person is this other person gonna be mad that they can't, and they're gonna get evidence that they can't anymore. Yep, they gonna have evidence, and it's gonna piss them off too. Yep, this person, like I said, they could be a water sign, Scorpio. I don't know why I'm hearing Sagittarius, but that's just what I'm hearing. Virgo, Pisces. Yeah. All right, you guys, take only what resonate and leave the rest like comment and subscribe look in the description box below for the services that i provide and with that you guys peace and love